Overfished tuna is one of the most overfished species in the world, so much so that environmental groups say they may soon become endangered. Now Japanese scientists are exploring ways to protect the bluefish tuna. CCTV's Mike Fern reports. They can swim across the ocean at more than 60 miles an hour. But if fishing fleets don't cut their catch, the Pacific bluefin may disappear for good. The International Union for the Conservation of Nature says stocks have dropped by as much as a third in the past 22 years, and the fish is at risk of extinction. The low recruitment of the spawning uh, the, the new tuna juveniles are also accountable for uh, the population decline. And in particular, uh, the you know, in increase the catch of uh, large net fisheries. We call it uh, the pass saying fisheries, and also an increase of the catch of Mexico. Uh, because tuna, uh, bluefin tuna is migrating from uh, Japanese coastal area to uh, Mexican coast. Diners at this Tokyo restaurant can enjoy their honmagaro without contributing to the problem of overfishing. This tuna comes from fish farms run by Kinki University in western Japan. It pioneered bluefin aquaculture, raising the fish from eggs, releasing the juveniles into the ocean and also selling the mature fish to restaurants and department stores. Goro Yoshizaki says fish farming is not enough to protect the bluefin. For the past 10 years, he's been researching tuna surrogacy injecting stem cells into mackerel, which has similar DNA. Bluefin tuna is a really big species. They reach uh, to mature when their body weight become around 100 kilos. It's, it's huge fish. And it also needs five years to reach to maturation. But if we can make the surrogated mackerel that can produce bluefin tuna eggs and sperm, uh, we can produce tuna, baby tuna, in very, very small facility. And also we can shorten the time required to obtain uh, eggs and sperm. Yoshizaki says it will probably take a few more years to finish his research. If he's successful, he says the mackerel may be able to produce 60,000 bluefin eggs a day. We really want to produce a juvenile tuna using surrogated mackerel and release to the uh, ocean. And, uh, you know, the ocean can take care of the, those baby tuna until they reach to the market size. The plan won't work without the cooperation of the countries that fish in the Pacific. But most of the bluefin caught there are young tuna that haven't had the chance to breed. This month, members of the Western and Central Pacific Fisheries Commission took action to protect juvenile bluefin, agreeing to catch half as much as the average 10 years ago. Mike Fern, CCTV, Tokyo.